all right what is up guys barry here in the video we will be talking about the summer 2021 animes and basically giving them overall rating how well did i know them how much of them did i watch how good were they in their entirety so first off we're just going to talk about all the animes slime anime slime anime season two part two slime anime was definitely the most hype anime to come out for this summer problem with this anime was there was a lot of wait time in between episodes in terms of the meeting lasted for literally like three episodes and then moving forward on the rest of it was kind of slow i'm just saying that it really doesn't take you that long to discuss a meeting that literally took a chapter and a half in the actual manga and then once you get to the actual parts of the meeting it there's not much to it essentially as a reader of the source material essentially i just didn't feel like it gave me what as much as i thought it was gonna give me and i was kind of disappointed i felt it was dragged and for that i would say part two season two even though it's really good i would put at a 3.4 three and a half essentially like it's good but it could have been better i might even drop it down to just like three in general like it was just okayed for me it left more of a sour taste more than anything tokyo revengers um this is the must watch i have to say if you're into shonen if you're into any type of fighting if you're into any time of time travel if you're into actual good characters with drip this is definitely the anime to go watch everyone is getting into a fight and it just there's not like every episode like high school of um crap, what was that fighting high school name whatever it was like it's not like that show no really. when they fight it means something there's a lot of dialogue in between of character building and whatnot and it's really good for that it got the full 24 like episode it, standard treatment and it really did shine with this moving forward the last episode of the anime was stunning just stunning there's a lot of question marks about this entire anime that we have and i think this one can actually deliver moving forward i would say overall rating for this anime is a four definitely a four definitely a four this would be a great anime to go back and watch i feel like five ten years from now that's how good the first season of tokyo avengers is not knowing anything that's going to happen moving forward just looking at this great story i have to do a review on this later on um moonlit fantasy moonlit fantasy is looks wacky i'll be honest it looks wacky of animation and this the style from the cover of it it doesn't look like as cool good as say i don't know slime anime or the tokyo avengers or even eternity it doesn't look that good i don't know what it is exactly with the characters and how they look it just doesn't look as good but even though the look of it's not always the best, I think the actual content of the show does the isekai genre justice. It does good. I think overall, I could say, you know, this first season is in the top 15, 20 of all time isekais, which, you know, when you get five, six, seven isekais freaking split, that kind of says, hey, we're good. We're doing all right for ourselves. So I think this anime overall definitely should be a considerable watch if you like the isekai genre. Um, but the other counterpart to that is the Serei Ginsoki, and I actually should have talked about them first. I should have talked about them first, but basically Spirit Chronicles does everything wrong where Tasuki gets right. Tasuki gets right when it comes to character buildings and actually making them part of the story and useful. On the opposite, Spirit Chronicles makes only one character or two characters useful, the rest of them are just kind of garbage and trash. As far as source material, there is a little bit of change with Tasuki in Moonlit, but in Chronicles, there's a big issue in terms of sourcing material, and that's kind of like, you know, the hit or miss point. Like, I would say either you're going to be watching Spirit Chronicles or you're watching Moonlit Fantasy. If you watch both, you'll see the difference between both of them and know that Tasuki is just the better product right now, essentially. I do think that Serai, like Spirit Chronicles isn't just terrible, but it's definitely not as good. As far as the rating for both of these shows, because I have to put them both together when you're comparing, essentially. Um, Tasuki is around almost a three, I feel like. And Spirit Chronicles is basically just a two, if not a 2.1 or something like that. It's a very low two scoring out of five for me. Spirit Chronicles, source material, kind of like messes up on one. Characters kind of messes up on one. The main lead is boring, kind of repetitive in a lot of things he says doesn't really have a goal for a majority of the time it's a boring goal for the audience to watch that's what i'm saying really with that um so where one anime gets things right the other one just gets things wrong simple things um realistic hero realistic hero was the anime that no one really expected to be that well received um it's kind of a hit or miss anime in terms of 
if you like the contents you'll love it and you'll keep watching if you don't you'll automatically just turn it off and not watch it basically um it's counterpart i would say because i'm gonna i'm bringing up these counterparts to the east guys because it's very easy to do is um black company so both gonna talk about both these anime essentially because they're pretty much the closest comparison for east guys to each other what they're both do is they're trying to understand the world that they're around they're being brought into this place and they're trying to adjust to the world essentially one is adjusting pretty well understanding the rules and is kind of just going with them and trying to improve the lives about the people around them um the other one is literally goes into it sees how the world runs and is like i'm trying to improve my situation what i think i like about realistic hero in this sense is that um pacing of the show feels pretty good as to pose the black company i feel like it's a little faster i well it's definitely faster than um it was in the manga and it's noticeable i don't think it's hit a stride yet as far as an anime right now i think that it starts to kick up really where you say in season two and season three that's when the anime gets better as to pose the realistic hero right off the bat it's solid it's a solid good anime as far as the scoring i would say that black company is around probably like a 2.2 in my opinion or like 2.3 ish like um realistic is kind of like around that range but like a little bit better 2.5 it's all right but i will say as far as like the taste of the anime in terms i did like realistic just a lot more to your eternity um this was like one of the other big three big four animes of summer all you're gonna feel when you're watching this anime is pain 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 it's a beautiful beautiful story it's great bringing you along the way building you up with these characters making you really like them um for a lot of animes i find myself skipping because i know this scene is bad this scene is bad this scene is bad to eternity i watched the entirety of it i would listen to the entirety of the music the soundtrack for the anime feels a lot like carol and tuesday a really i don't know like a earthly feeling i don't i don't know what the word is for it but like it's a good feeling essentially listening to the anime they had the best story building for summer hands down easy great shonen title but you're gonna feel a lot of pain for basically a lot of if not all the characters involved it's like say the premise of the show essentially you take someone who's immortal who has no idea about the world and you drop him into humanity and you see what he does this is where he learns about relationships with other people basic language how to communicate he learns in the end death and the effect it has on himself and knowing that his friends that he's built up along the way are experiencing all this pain and he's watching them have to die each time essentially it's very very painful to watch going through the eyes of the immortal hero the end of the show like i said more pain all right so kobayashi's dragon maid i feel like everyone's kind of had the same open opinion about it i haven't finished anime so i can't really go crazy off on the ending but it's like more of you know wacky dragon maid stuff essentially there are some fun moments to bring back to oh yeah that's what the show is about but i think people were saying this season was a little bit worse than what it was in previous seasons the first season i think when i look at it that's kobayashi's maid dragon i don't see any difference it's still good it's still solid probably if i finish it i would assume it's like a three it's good here is the next thing so remake remake is a great sleeper anime i knew from the cover it was going to be great it's basically another time travel anime in a, in a sense and it's a very good one at that it's um not gonna be tokyo avengers or steins gate throwing you back in time to this segment or this segment or to this segment that kind of thing no it's you're back in this particular time and that's it you better live through it and you know make the most of it through along the way the main character goes to live out his dream of what he wanted because he had regrets of oh i should have done this instead of this you know i should have went for my dream rather than take the safe route approach so he actually goes for his dream this time and he realizes that this is what he always wanted essentially um he meets a lot of new friends the people that he ends up idolizing a lot of a lot of top creators in his generation he ends up becoming friends with them and it's a great story and it's interesting I would definitely say you should probably go watch it. I think as well, it's probably around a three. Probably around a three. Girlfriend, girlfriend, didn't watch it really, except for clips here and there. I don't really think it's much of a show. I think, you know, it's just the idea of having high school like concubines, I guess. Like each girl knows who's the main girl. Do they want to become the main girl? Yeah, but they're not gonna step on anybody's toes because 
technically in their state or in Japan it's illegal. So they're all just kind of like skipping around it, you know. It's a trash show, but it's it's fine, you know. Detective. I didn't watch the um the detective either. So I'm sorry, I have no opinion about it. Tommy Game, great show. I think this season did pretty good as well. Uh, I don't know what it is, but each season feels generally about the same for Villainous. Feels very much the same thing. Like they're slowly bringing along the, uh, the arcs. And in all honesty, it's probably like around a little bit below a three, essentially. It's, it's okay. Like as far as an isekai, it's not doing normal isekai things of, um, fantasy world and whatnot really sure there's magic but you don't really feel that it's more of a slice of life if anything i feel like slice of life comedy just kind of like sitting around a castle all day going off eating like snacks whatever katarina as a main lead is definitely one of the best main lead isekai characters in a very long time i could watch her do basically anything she always manages to make me smile or, or like laugh so because of that like i said katarina top tier um love the show didn't watch this vampire show it's a vampire show what do you what do you want from me a hundred is garbage still i will never change my opinion thing about this show i already made a review or a video about it i might review it again just to say or like have a reaction video because like it's garbage to me um it would always be kind of bad for me i think this season though for sure because i did watch a couple clips here and there i think this season's already kind of better but it wasn't really hard to beat season one to me anyways it really wasn't hard but season two is better in my opinion um peach boy riverside very unique fantasy in terms of just the characters and like interactions like it's a good looking show for the most part and i kind of wish there was a little bit more to it yeah that's kind of about it i feel like when i was watching this i felt kind of cheated in like how much information i was getting i didn't think i got very much at all i will but i did want to know motivations for a lot of these characters like why are you such like why do you want to kill all the freaking ogres or whatever right why do you want to chase down one of your old best friends he's kind of like just a, a weirdo i don't know i never really got like motivations or goals from these and it's kind of about it i i will say like the whole idea with that um the purple hair like ogre human girl she was good. She was good for like what she wanted in terms of like, oh, should I really trust these humans? Like her little like arc as a character was, she actually had an arc. I wouldn't put it as a three. I'd probably put it like in the mid twos, like a 2.5, you know, or 2.2, like around there, like felt like it needed something. Death battle in like five seconds or five minutes, I think is one of the more refreshing survival game animes. And I hope this anime does well because the genre kind of needs it a lot. It's put itself as an action supernatural uh, superpower show, but you no, know, it's a survival game anime and it needs to help out the freaking genre because the genre is trash. I feel like the manga was really good. I did stop watching the manga and the anime at a, at a point when certain characters like supposedly died. And I want to know if they did die and if they did, that's really bad for this manga this is really bad for the show moving forward though it is very interesting with the main lead base cam the power of whatever his enemy thinks he has and his mind he's very much like a um anakojo whatever from a classroom really he's very much like that type of calculated player i wouldn't put him as far as like lelouch but like he's around that echelons of like mind or like you know how he thinks about his situation it's nice is cynical the word for it i think cynical might be the word for it um but it's it's nice um how he basically plays the game and how he plays his allies and enemies around him is masterfully great and you should definitely watch it or read the manga hopefully like i said they don't kill off certain characters because if they did that would make this show incredibly boring but the great jaha sama wa kuju ku. i don't i don't know what the show's called but anyways i think it's good i want to watch more of it it sounds like pretty funny comedy didn't finish it it's gonna be coming out in the next split anyway, so like, you know. So basically the mother of the goddess dormitory. This one is borderline just like hentai. It's not hentai, but like, uh, what's the word? Like soft core, like, you, you basically you see nips and it's just like, hmm, I don't know how I feel about this. They, there are certain scenes in this anime as well that it's just like, you don't need to do that. Why did you do that? I'm really disappointed in you, show. Why did you do that? There's degeneracy and then there's just going too far essentially with his anime um as far as the scoring it's it's like a two like the only thing it has going for itself is you know it's the comedy ichi effect and it's like are you really gonna put this 20 something years old with this like 
13 year old kid. Is Shotokan gonna happen right now? Drugstore didn't finish it. It's kind of like your isekai that's just kind of meh, if not worse. It's like, it's like two, if not actually in my rating, I'd probably put it at a 1.7. Like it's below a two in my opinion. Eden Zero is basically a two. It's not fairy tale in space, but it damn near feels like fairy tale in space because of the characters and how they look, you know? I just, I don't wanna, I don't wanna say it's that. I don't wanna say that. I wanna give it a proper review, but it never really interested me, honestly. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna have to cut it off here. The part that I really wanted to talk about ended up getting cut, so I'm gonna have to make it a two-parter. But until then, do make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. You can always unsub in the future, as well as check out this next video in the playlist. So yeah, have a great day. Later.